the media will have you believe that flashy, fabulous, and famous go hand in hand with being rich. But that is quite the contrary. In fact, a vast majority of the richest people are the most unassuming, as well as the most private. If you've always wondered why this is so, well you've come to the right place. Welcome to Schmancy, the place where we talk all things rich, exclusive, and fancy Schmancy. Our video today will focus on the old money families of Europe and North America, a class of wealthy individuals known to live very reserved lifestyles and are quite discreet about their wealth. For many, money is a topic never to be discussed in public, and flaunting it is considered a big no-no. Let's just say that for old money, modesty is king. And if you are going to dwell among old money circles, or if you strive to one day live like old money, it is pertinent that you understand why low-key is key when it comes to public life. We here at Schmancy love to keep things simple by sharing our helpful ideas in just 5 easy to remember tips. So without further delay, here are the top 5 reasons why old money doesn't try to impress. Number 1. There really is nothing to prove. We see the outlandish celebrities and their entourage trying to look extremely important on the red carpet. Pay no mind. They are simply the nouveau riche doing what the nouveau riche do best. And what about those alleged multimillionaires buying up a storm of luxury as they flaunt their lavish lifestyles on social media? Well, some are just fake rich, while others may have also just attained new money, and are simply calling attention to themselves and their accomplishments. They find outrageous spending and pretentiousness is the best way to cope with their sudden windfall. On the contrary, due to decades of inherited wealth, old money at this point is quite accustomed to large sums of money. Family members are usually born with a silver spoon, so the novelty of new money wore off generations ago. Unlike some of the brand new self-made millionaires who are driven by pride in their rags to riches journey, old money who obtains their fortune via inheritance feel no need to take credit for their ancestors' accomplishments. To put it bluntly, their family name usually says everything you need to know. And so the pomp and fanfare become quite unnecessary. Our advice to you out there, no matter how big or small your personal fortune may be, you should never feel you have anything to prove to others. Know that hard work and your accomplishments alone will always find a way to speak for themselves and outshine any type of unnecessary flaunting. Number 2. It is a show of poor taste. To show off your achievements or expensive purchases to others is a sign of insecurity, immaturity, and amateurity. It shows that you are attempting to win their approval, their admiration, or even make others green with envy. To advertise to those less fortunate just how much better off you are, is impolite and quite simply a lack of manners. Old money knows that showing off is futile, as the world is not sitting at the edge of their seat awaiting proof of everyone's success. Showing off is usually a display of an unbridled ego, and seen as a lack of discipline. As a class of individuals who value good manners, old money can clearly see when someone hasn't had a proper upbringing. With that in mind, they are sure to never expose their private lives and personal opinions in a public setting or on social media. To do so would only make them appear as frauds, and expose psychological weakness, while giving away their power. Know that it is best to live a very private life and only share personal and financial matters with those who are very close to you, and those who you can truly trust. Though it might be tempting to sport fancy labels, or take selfies of yourself in your brand new Ferrari, know that there will be some, who can see right through you. Number 3. Living within your means. As people who've had money all of their lives, old money has no need to go on wild shopping sprees to fulfill any lifelong wishes or quell any lifelong insecurities. This means they don't always have to have the latest gadget, wear the most up-to-date fashion, or drive the fastest car. This may come as a shock to you, as it doesn't sound very rich. But most old money live simply. And yes, they live on a budget. How else could the family fortune have lasted for so many generations? Fact is, by limiting reckless spending, old money avoids having to work a 9 to 5 just to pay the bills. They manage to do this by living off the interest or dividends of the family fortune, never touching the principal. However, despite receiving a generous sum every month, they know their income has its limits. By living within their means and with sound money management skills, they ensure it lasts and thus end up never killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. The same money management skills are taught to every child in the family from a very young age. It is not that old money does not make expensive purchases. They do in fact spend a lot of money. However, it is never to impress and they are careful on what they spend it on. 
Large purchases are usually viewed as high-quality investments that will appreciate over time and add value to their lives. Rich or poor, chances are, it would take everyone else multiple generations to amass the vast fortune old money families have accumulated. However, if sound money management skills are learned and practiced today, one can always amass a small fortune of their own and perhaps even be the forerunner to a future old money family. Therefore, make it a point to always live within your means, while always treating your hard-earned savings like the goose that lays the golden eggs. Number 4. Jealousy and Sabotage Why is it that high-profile celebrities are always surrounded by bodyguards and high-level security? Why is it that the famously rich always end up in the tabloids? This is mostly due to the fact that they are public figures and the entire world knows they are worth a lot of money. In such a case, one must be on the constant lookout when it comes to their safety and privacy. Who wants to live like that? Old money knows that though having gobs of money is a blessing, freedom is also required if one wants to live life to its fullest. Having the ability to come and go as they please, is why most choose not to advertise their wealth. Old money knows quite well that no one is going to applaud them for having so much money. Instead it can make the have-nots extremely jealous to the point of putting the family in danger. Jealousy has a way of breeding bad behavior from those who are less fortunate. There may be attempts to smear the family reputation, to stage a robbery, or possibly even kidnap for ransom. At the end of the day, it is best to live a very private life and never flaunt your good fortune. As it becomes extremely difficult for others to spread rumors or plot against you when they know nothing about you. And the final reason is, number 5. Beggars and leeches. Just as long-lost friends and family come out of the woodwork when one suddenly wins the lottery, the same can be applied to old money. The more you advertise to the world just how wealthy you are, the more beggars and leeches you will have at your door. As old money does make it a point to give much to charity, no one wants to be seen as a cash cow or a potential host to parasitic people. And no one ever wants to question their relationships and wonder if the people in their lives are there just because of their money. Therefore, you can feel confident in knowing that old money has an excellent point. The less flashy you can be about your wealth, the less beggars and leeches you will attract, and the more you can ensure the genuineness of the people around you. And these are the top 5 reasons as to why old money doesn't try to impress. So, which of these tips did you find the most helpful? Have some of them inspired you to no longer concern yourself with impressing others? And for those currently within the ranks of old money, do you have any tips of your own you'd like to add to this discussion? Anyway, if there's anything else you would like to mention about this topic, feel free to share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss out on another video. With that said, we'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next time.